Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Maniac Mansion. I'm your friendly neighborhood Let's Player Spider Wa, and we continue where we left off. We got the radio tube, we got the key, we got the chandelier down, we got our ear pierced with annoying sounds, and now we go to Sid. Now, where was Sid? I think he was still in the dark room, which is a good place to be right now, depending on where he needs to go. And he needs to go get some muscles on that body. Oh yeah. It's been a while since I played this game, so I have forgotten what I'm supposed to do. But good thing I got my notes. And my notes are reminding me on where I am. Excuse me. And because now that I know that where I am and what I'm supposed to do, I better get to it. If I can remember where everything is. Let's see. Yes, this is the right room. Use the Honko Matic Machine trademark. Of course it's trademark. I love the sound effects. Duh, I feel much stronger now. Yeah, you do, Sid. So now that we've done that, you got some more muscles and strength in them. Let's go all the way through the mansion. This is gonna take a while. It's not a small mansion, that's for sure. It's gonna take a while to get where we need to go. I don't. Uh, they always do that. They always go around from the front of the freaking pillar. Oh well. So let's continue. This is really, I think this is gonna be the last adventure game I'm gonna do on the Commodore 64 because I don't really know any of other uh, other adventure games on the Commodore. At least, uh, well, I think there is a, a version of Zack McCracken, but I've only played the Amiga version, not the Commodore version. And I did uh, do a small playthrough of Zack McCracken, but I took that down because... Uh, eh. I just didn't feel it was good enough or something like that. So, maybe later, maybe later I will do another one that will be probably proper, properly good instead of just being what it was. And now we're gonna go outside into the annoying cricket sounds again. Oh, yippee, I've been missing this a lot, haven't I? Well, to be frank, nope. But, anyway, with the adventure games done, I'm gonna go back to playing all sorts of uh, short games and all that. Um, and that well, sound is really, really loud, isn't it? Damn. So, let's get the bushes out of the way, and now that we're strong enough, we can get the grating off. No, yeah, do not pick it. Pull it. Pull it. Easy. Yeah. It's easy for you now. If we hadn't gone to the weightlifting machine, we had couldn't have been able to get the grate up, get the grate open at all. But now it was easy, just like he said. See, so now that we're down here in the, uh, well, you could say, well, you can't really say this is the basement. This is just under the house, under the mansion. We go over here. To the right, more to the right. There we go. There's the water, water valve. That's what we needed to get to. And now we go back to Bernard. There's Bernard. Let's see that we have all that we need. A yellow key, old rusty key. Okay. 
now that we got all those items that we need, we got sit at the valve. We need to get down here, but I can't get down here unless I don't unless I have two characters, which I don't. So, and Dave is caught. He's in the dungeon still. So the only thing that I've got to do, then I can do, to get down to the basement, is actually get caught. That's the easiest way. Mm, there shouldn't be anyone here. I'll just open the door anyway. Because later I might have to come back here. And I will have to come back here. No, this is a... I think I know what room this is. Yeah, it's this room. I just need to find the switch. There's the desk lamp. <laughs> nope. There we go. Turn it on. Zip. And now that we got this room, this is uh, basically Ed. Uh, it's uh, no, not Ed. Fred's uh, laboratory, or you could say it's his uh, medical room or something like that. I'm not sure. Don't ask me for specifics, please. <clears throat> anyway, onwards we go to do what we need to do. We didn't really need to go into that room. I just felt like it for some reason. And onwards we go. Waggle your fists. Pump them like an idiot, Bernard. Now get up there. No, don't get... I hate when they start doing that. Pathfinding in this game is so moronic sometimes. Just get up the stairs, Bernard. Shuffle your feet up there. Get to it and all that. And now, as stupid as it is, we go in here to Edna's room. I'm an unwelcome visitor. I get you. That's a horrible voice for her. Really horrible. Uh, voice acting. Not an easy job, you know. How silly of me. I should have turned you to my bed. Just like with Dave, huh? You are one freaky grandma, you know. So you think that, oh no, we're trapped together here. Whatever shall we do? There's no way to escape. Oh my, oh no. But, since we destroyed the, chandel the chandelier and got the key, we can now use the door with the rusty key. And... Voila! Open says me. Nice of them to have the lock inside the dungeon. Instead of having the lock outside. They really didn't plan... They really didn't didn't design the dungeon really well, now did they? Well, they, I, I guess they didn't expect us to have a key. Anyway, now we got out, out from there. I can try and find the light switch. Turn on the light switch. There we go. Now we got the light on. We gotta go backwards a little bit. Do not touch or do anything with that. That's radioactive waste. Now we pick up the silver key. Pick it up. There you go. And there we go. Now more walking, 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 more walking, more walking, more, more, more walking. More walking. Lots of walking to do, but then, then again, this is an adventure game. 
If this were an RPG, there would be even more walking. Isn't it fascinating that in adventure games and RPGs, this it involves a lot and lot and lots and lots and lots of walking? Strange. But hey, that's how it goes. I don't know. Looney Tunes. Fun. Anyway. Onwards and upwards and whatnots. It's gonna be a long walk to the storage room. And beyond. Beyond. I don't know. I'm, I'm tired. I should have taken something to drink before starting this stupid silly me. Oh well. Oh well. Such things happen. Such things happen. When you do not prepare yourself f fully for your, mm, your things. <sighs> Whatever. So, now that we're here, let's open the door. But it says, the door is locked. Eh, no, what do we do? Well, we got the silver key. The silver key is used on the door to open it. There we go. Now that we are here, we go, this is the backyard, and we, they got a nice pool. We go to the pool, and now we use the glass jar with the swimming pool. We grab, grab some of the water, with a jar of water, and this is not ordinary water. This is actually contaminated water, radioactive and all that stuff, so don't go in there to swim. Now we change back to Sid, who's at the water valve. And, of course, turning the wa water valve will drain the pool of all the water. But it also will do something very dangerous. What kind of danger will it be? Will it be catastrophe? Yes. Could it end the game if we do not if we're not quick enough? Yes. Are we all gonna die if we do not make it fast enough? Yes. Why would you want to turn off the valve? Because there's something important in the in the bottom of the pool, and we can't get there with the water in there, so we have to close the valve. You're mad. Yes, I am. And I'm gonna end the video here. You're gonna see what's gonna happen. In the next video. <laughs> I've been your friend of the neighborhood Let's Players Fine and I hope you have a good evening, good afternoon, and a good morning, and I'll see you if I will. Take care, people. Bye. <laughs>